welcome to my was a new some new stories for you first one is about tagarai orthodox church which was part of ethiopian orthodox church but uh, uh, it announced some measures last year which pointed towards its split with the ethiopian orthodox church and i we know that uh, in oromia a new splinter faction in the church is emerging and tigray orthodox church uh, uh, leaders uh, seem to be standing with oromo dissidents it seems secondly uh, the archbishops from oromia who are rebelling they are holding press briefings uh, and uh, today they held a press briefing what happened what did they say thirdly national uh, 12th grade exam result was announced today by the relevant department in ethiopia shocking results only 3.3% students scored more than 50% marks uh, threshold uh, uh necessary for further uh, education so only 3.3% uh, will be able uh, to be enrolled at universities for uh, further education and the result is being called shocking why uh firstly viewers uh, we have been discussing about uh, the ongoing split at ethiopian orthodox church three archbishops have announced their split uh, they made some appointments of monks uh, and bishops in uh, ethiopia especially in oromia uh, the appointments were declared illegal by the holy synod holy synod now has revoked titles uh, all titles of the three archbishops and other monks three archbishops they uh, are not apologizing and they are holding press briefings today they held a press briefing and uh, they criticized the holy synod uh, accusing the holy synod of being from one ethnic group uh, they rejected the decision made by the holy synod they have not formed a separate holy synod so far they have not elected a new patriarch but they will it seems 13 were seen today though they are 28 uh, in number but 13 were seen today at the press briefing where are the remaining 15 uh, and we are hearing in romia that uh, offers are being made by the holy synod by ethiopian orthodox church to these uh, 28 uh, uh, uh priests uh, 28 bishops uh, to rejoin the orthodox church and uh, offers of money offers other type of offers are being made but uh, only 13 were seen at today's press briefing where are the remaining 15 have they changed sides uh, are they neutral uh, or are they still part of uh, Oromo a separate group, but they were not at today's press briefing. So we'll uh, be able to see uh, what is the real number of the dissidents in coming days. So far, no apology. The three archbishops, especially uh, the three archbishops, they are repelling and they are rejecting Holy Synod's decisions. And we could see announcement of separate Holy Synod and a new patriarch in coming days. It could happen. because there is no sign of any reconciliation between the sapenta group and uh, the holy synod where is a tigray uh, where is tigray clergy where are tigray orthodox church leaders uh, tigray orthodox church leaders uh, have not issued any statement in support of the holy synod uh, because uh, we have seen statements from different dioceses uh, supporting uh, the holy synod the patriarch the patriarch is a tigrayan abu matias is a tigrayan but no statement from tigray orthodox church in support of the holy synod rather we are hearing interviews of uh, some tigray uh, bishops 
on uh, pro Tigray news outlets. And they're criticizing the decision made by the Holy Synod, the decision of expelling Oromo uh, archbishops. So, in a way, we can say that Tagarai Orthodox Church authorities are supporting Romo Splinter Group. It's a very serious development. It means that now uh, fissures within the church are widening two factions. One is in Tagarai, which uh, you can say split to some extent last year. Now, another one is in Oromia. Church is definitely splitting. Uh, and the idea of federation of uh, Ethiopian Orthodox churches uh, is being floated around in Oromia. I think that uh, church leaders in Tagarai, in Oromia, they want independence, it seems. So they want to split with uh, the Orthodox Church. Orthodox Church uh, took strong measures, did not show restraint. And the other side, Oromo Sapenta group, uh, is hitting back, not apologizing and uh, working to take control of church premises in Oromia. In today's uh, uh, press briefing, uh, the 13 uh, Splinter Group member said that uh, they will appoint more uh, priests in Romia. The priests will take over the premises of uh, church premises in Romia. So it means we could see physical confrontation between the church, uh, uh, between appointees uh, by Orthodox Church and appointees by the new Splinter faction, especially in Oromia. But Tigray uh, is already largely independent. It has not formed a Holy Synod. It has not uh, appointed a Patriarch. Uh, but uh, the questions which were raised by Tigray Orthodox authorities last year are being raised by now Oromo Splinter group. So, unofficial, unannounced alliance seems to be in the making between Tagarai and Romo uh, Orthodox uh, 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 church members and uh, Addis Ababa based Holy Synod, Addis Ababa based uh, Central Institutions Authority is definitely in danger. Uh, Lastly, viewers, uh, Brahan Onaga is Ethiopian Education Minister, uh, head of Azima Party. He ran as opposition lead, as an opposition candidate. Uh, his party ran in election as opposition party. Party could not win lots of seats. Uh, it was routed rather. But PM Abi's government adjusted opposition parties uh, in the government and the cabinet and uh, Ronaga was made Federal Minister of Education uh, and uh, today uh, government announced the results of 12th grade exam. Results are very important for students who want to continue their education because uh, criteria is that if they don't secure more than 50% marks, then they're not uh, entitled to be enrolled at universities. 896,520 students uh, took the exam. And out of 896,520 students, only 29,909 uh, students secured uh, more than 50% marks. So they are eligible for university enrollment. What about others? Only 3.3% of uh, the total number of students uh, managed to secure more than 50% marks. What is the reason? Is it due to some strict measures adopted uh, against cheating? 
or uh, uh, the exam criteria was very strict whatever the reason was uh, only 3.3 percent will be allowed to continue university education and if universities have uh, some seats vacant then a few others below 50 percent could also be adjusted Peronaga is under fire, people criticizing him, saying that his policies regarding university education, uh, higher education uh, must be amended. Students' future is being jeopardized uh, and uh, uh, that just shows that uh, Federal Ministry of Education's performance is not very impressive and government should appoint a new education minister. Uh, Naga himself called the result shocking. Who is responsible for this shocking result? Ministry of Education, uh, relevant uh, educational institutions where the students studied or criteria adopted by uh, the government to test these students. Thank you for watching.